welcome back. My camera died. It might die again in a second. So I went on a Poshmark site and I typed in log cloth and I picked up a couple more dresses. And then I found Daquana White, who is um, one of my favorite people on YouTube to follow. If you're not following her, go follow her. She's amazing. Such a sweet lady. Um, and I bought some pieces from her and then I just found a couple of random things. So I thought I'd show you what I could get for $100 and uh, so here we go. I'll get dressed. Okay, this first piece I got from Daquana and it's just a little dress. It's just as sweet as could be for summer. Whoops, it's not done up. Excuse me. I want to do that up, right? Oh, okay. They didn't cut this buttonhole properly. There's a couple of things they didn't do quite right on this dress. I believe it's from Shein, actually. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'll just make sure it stays down, right? Um, so all that happened is that they didn't cut the buttonhole completely. So I'll just get my seam ripper and just pop that open. It'll be fine. Another thing I'm noticing right off of this dress, I tied up the the things here like you can see they're not even tight they're there's it's all loose in through here but the, they've gone and made an extra large buttonhole right here and it likes to stretch with absolutely no pull put on it at all so I'm going to stitch that button up because I'm really never going to need this dress um, opened any further than that to get in and out of it. In fact, it's easy just to throw over my my uh, head done up completely. So anyways, let's go stop about the dress. Um, so this is just a little bit above the knee, which I don't mind. I'll, I'll wear this probably just at home anyways, because it's a really cool and comfortable dress for the um, Houston heat here, which I do not particularly love. And yeah, it's just really simple. I think it's maybe made for a younger woman because my boobs end here and I'd have to literally pull them up to have them seated all in this area. I don't think it looks nice. I think it's cute for hanging out. I'd go down to the post office and run an errand or whatever. If I had to run down, out to Walmart, it'd be perfectly fine in this dress. It's cute. And here's the back of it. I really like things that fit me a little bit around here and then go out here. I, you'll see that as a bit of a theme as I go on, as, as you get to know me a little bit better. Anyway, so yeah, just above the knee, I'll quit talking. It'll be less revealing when I get that buttonhole done properly. And it's cute, right? Next item item which I believe that again she got from Shein. I watch all her hauls. I should know exactly where she got it, right? Anyway, so I think it's from Shein. It's a lightweight polyester dress. I love the chevron in the front. I just find that so figure flattering. I, and I don't wear things just to figure flatter my figure. I wear stuff that I like. So huh. anyways, it came with a tie belt and I won't wear it. It's too high up for, and it's under the bust, and then it's low. I just feel like it's, that's a little bit maternity on me, and I'm way past that time. So I'll either put it around my head, or I'll put it around my neck, or I'll just skip it completely. Whatever, right? It was got kind of a retro vibe of the colors. It's kind of fun for spring. And uh, yeah, I think I'll get a lot of wear of this. Again, it's just one of those one and done dresses, which is one of the things I love about dresses. You throw it on, you go out the door, you're done for your day. Um, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And then the, I got this next piece. When she tried it on in her haul, I was like, Oh my gosh, and they were sold out, so I couldn't get it. Then when I saw that she put it up on Poshmark, I swooped in like a vulture, and I grabbed it right away. And it is this amazing mesh 
overcoat jacket thing in this vibrant, gorgeous golden yellow. And oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And you know, you could just wear it like a jacket over top. So I, I love it just as it is. My husband says, I don't like those yellow things on your boobs, the pockets. I think they're kind of cool, but I think he also might have a point in so far as there's nothing on the bottom to kind of balance it out. Let me do this up. Uh, I've been considering taking them off the breast pocket, as, instead of breast pockets, I put them down here. Um, but I could just take them off and see what I think. Anyways, I think it's super cool done up. I just dig this mesh stuff so much. It's also got kind of a, a weird like metro or um, retro vibe, doesn't it? Which I'm just really enjoying for the spring. Come on, baby. I actually don't going to. Anyways, here it is. And how I originally thought I would probably wear this, although it does look cute over this, right? It looks like super cute over this. But what I had originally thought was just to make it super fresh and either make or buy just a really simple t-shirt dress in white and wear it over that. Probably sleeveless because it gets so hot here that if I wanted this as an extra layer, I just, ugh, sleeves would just be a bit too much. So anyways, yeah, I just think it's flippin' adorable, and I'm thrilled that I got it, and I'm so grateful for Poshmark, and I'm so grateful for Daquana. Go subscribe. Like, she's honestly great. She has a lot more content than I do. Go sign up if you haven't. Anyways, let me show you the side. And the back. The back. The back. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling that vibe? I am. For sure with my whitest legs in Texas. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, falling in love with something, only to have it go um, out of stock before in your size. This dress. Uh, four of us went and styled Anna O'Brien, Glitter and Lasers. You've got to be following her. If you, if you found me, you know her. Um, she's one of my favorite people. So, we styled her and we got her this dress from Mod Cloth. Now, so I'm back in more Mod Cloth. Um, and I couldn't find the black and red, but I found this navy and pink, which I just think is just every bit as beautiful. It's 100% cotton. It's Mod Cloth. So it's lined. It's just got a cotton lining, which is really nice. It's, so you just really you throw it on and you're done. It's got a side zipper, which I really like. I hate back zippers. I have a hard time getting my arms up sometimes because of my bursitis. Anyways, blah, blah. It has pockets. And it is stinking adorable. It's got this little, do you see that little bit of embroidery in my, I think I got that about right. <laughs> uh, it's got that little bit of embroidery at the back. My cloth always has such great details, you know, and the embroidery up here, which matches this. But I just thought this would like be so adorable in the winter. I've got a plain navy um, bodysuit that I could put underneath this because this is navy. Um, because I think it would look good tonal, more like one piece than separates. And then I could put some of these pink leggings below. Oh my gosh, like I'm so loving it. And then of course in the summer, here I am, good to go. With a pair of hot pink shoes or, you know, the green is really pretty. You can just pick up any of these colors, just a plain navy. You don't have to go fancy. You just do anything with this. It's just delightful. Anyways, it's called the, um, the Conversation Masterpiece dress from Mod Cloth. So if you're interested, Go on Poshmark, serious, and maybe you'll find it in your size. This is a 1X. I find that my cloth fits me perfectly in 1X of everything so far. Um, it hits just above the knee. Uh, so if you don't like that, just think winter tights, 
your legs are covered anyways and you could even wear pantyhose or whatever in the summertime if it's not too hot where you are or just show your legs because you know what fat people get hot too we don't have to be all trussed up like turkeys just because somebody might not appreciate the sight of all that we are <laughs> screw them yes it's another dress from mod cloth it most certainly is all right so how cute is this little summer confection? So pretty. Now, did, I don't know if you noticed that, that um, mustard dress that I tried on from Shein. Did you notice that it was chevron, but the stripes didn't match up? Hang on, let me grab it. See they, how they don't match up in the center? They, they are off kilter. And to mod cloth. As someone who sews, I really appreciate this attention to detail. Um, they've gone and sewn the bow down, so it's not, it's like a false bow. You, you can't untie it. It's flat. Um, I appreciate that. It is, once again, fully lined, top and bottom, which is really pretty. It's a 1X. Now this dress, I'm going to tell you honestly, it's got... If I had another half inch of room in here, I'd be really delighted, but I don't. So I'm gonna suck it up or suck it in, one of the two. Oh, and I don't wear shapewear. I, I will wear shapewear if I'm wearing like something totally bodycon and I'm going out and I'm gonna be wearing it for three or four hours and that's it. Because anything more than that, my 58 year old butt sweats in it. I just can't, I can't with it. Uh, if you like shapewear, that's awesome. I can't do it. Um, so yeah, if I, if I even put on something up here to suck me in a little bit, it would be perfection. But I'm not going to. So there's that. So here it is from the sides. Oh, and let me show you this. This is perfect. This is a perfect demonstration. Um, because I'm in here, you know, I've even, there is, I can move this away from my body. So how do I know it's tight? The wrinkles will always show you where the issue is. So in this case, the issue is in the bust. I just realized that. Pull those babies up a little bit and I would be okay. Um, so another nice detail in this dress is that it's got adjustable straps. I may just uh, see them up here. They're there, believe me. Lizzie Wiggerson here, you know, you can't always see what I'm trying to show you. Um, but yeah, just a really pretty little cotton dress, one and done, boom. My husband saw it and goes, oh, that'd be perfect for you going to the dog park in. Look, oh. Am I that extra, really? Huh, I thought maybe like a nice little uh, lunch date or something. No, the dog park. I get to go to the dog park, dress up for that. Thanks, love. Anyways, it's cute. I'll just try right over this dress. The next thing I got is this adorable little jacket. This is a, it's from Lane Bryant. It's rayon and linen, which is, oh God, just like delicious. So nice. Um, of course, it'll wrinkle like hell, but I don't mind. I don't care. If it's natural fabric and it wrinkles, I'm good with it. Um, but this is just like a really sweet little jacket. Three quarter sleeves, which is nice for the summertime. It looks cute open or closed. It looks cute over this little dress. But what I thought I what I thought I bought it for was to wear with a pair of I've got a few pairs of white linen pants. And as long as they still fit me, this is just like a perfect little topper with a little colorful um, camisole underneath. And, you know, be able to whip off the jacket, but look cute on entrance, because everywhere in Houston is hot. Except for, they go crazy on their air conditioner here. So even if you go to a restaurant or something, sometimes they have it blasting so much that like you want another layer just to like not freeze to death. Um, so yeah, it's just cute open and closed. It fits perfectly. I can't believe it. Oh, and one thing that I was telling you with the blazers, 
or the wrinkles. You can always tell where, where there's an issue by where the wrinkles are pointing to. And when it comes to blazers, you actually want a little bit of a wrinkle right here. That's a properly fitting blazer. You can see there's plenty of room in this, but it still looks like it's got a little bit of a wrinkle right in here. And that's wanted. That shows that it's a perfect fit. If it doesn't have that, it's likely too big. Okay? And you can see, like I can cross this over. But that's perfection. Okay, I don't have the outfit or what I'd wear this with up here. Um, so I'm just going to show it to you over top of this. It doesn't look particularly great because it's sheer and I've got a dark bra on. But uh, yeah, just this little floaty little caftan type wispy little number from, I think this is from Lane Bryant as well. And I just thought this would be like so adorable over like a pair of white shorts, uh, a little white camisole, and I'm kind of good to go, right? I can wear it over black, but I don't like dark. You can see like right here, I don't like the dark underneath here. So I'd either go a really pale pink or I'd go white underneath here. It was a slit all the way up to here. It just has like a join right here. There's not hardly anything holding it together. That's what I'm trying to say. It's got a little bit of ruching. It's embroidered. And I just thought it was like adorable. And I'm looking forward to wearing it this summer. So I've got a couple of other things that I'm going to show you that are not part of the hundred dollars. But there's only a couple items, so I don't know where else I would fit them in. So I'm just gonna, there's a little bonus. I'm gonna tag them in at the, right now. All right, so let me go try those off for you. Okay, first thing is this shirt. I got it on clearance for $3 from Target. I'm really proud of myself. It's from the men's section. It's a size large men's. It's only $7.99 regular, but whatever, right? Anyways, it's just, it just kind of fits perfect. It's got a little v-neck. So if there's one thing I hate, it's men's shirts, is their little round collars. Like, I hate those. And I hate that so many of the shirts that you get, um, I don't know, commemorative shirts or whatever, they all have, like, a men's fit. I don't like it. So it's just 100% cotton, it's nice, it's cute, it's light. I'll just go and tuck it into my shirts probably. It's a cute little layering piece for underneath overalls and whatever. And that's it. Then the second thing that I got was a skirt from Universal Standards. And it's just a plain old jeans skirt. It's got minimum stretch, which I kind of like. Uh, the top two buttons undo, um, and this bottom... Oh, I think I know why it's on sale now. There's no snap at the bottom of this. Huh, interesting. There's not even a hole cut for it. Whatever. So maybe I'll just sew that down or leave it. I don't know. How does it look like that? What do you think? Is that too much of a slit? Oh, that's nice. What do you think? Can I get away with that? Anyways, so I got this skirt, it was on clearance. Cause I've just been a little bargain hunter lately. And it's got real pockets at the back, it's got real pockets at the front. Can't complain about that. It's nice, it's comfortable, it'll be perfect for summer. And one more item. Okay, the last thing I got was this cute little shirt. It's by Wild Fable. Again, Target. Again, clearance. I just thought it was really cute. It's a little bit snug, but I have a plan of wearing this under overalls, and I just, it matches three pairs of overalls that I have, so I just will wear it probably way too much. Yeah, it's too short and too tight for me really to be comfortable wearing it out and about, but here it is. Cute, right? And I hardly ever show any of the cleavage. So just even the fact that this is a little bit lower, I feel a little bit sexy. Anyway, so that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, 
And I really like the idea of doing $100 at a time to show you what you can get. Is there anywhere that you would like to see me do a haul from? Uh, probably my next couple of videos will be in the dressing room. And uh, let me know if there's anywhere in particular that you want to see from there as well. I thought I'd check out Eloquy because we have one here in Houston. And I also thought I would check out... Three days later, I can't think of what it is. Anyways, let me know what you'd like to see. If you haven't done already, could you please hit the surprise the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. Hit the notification bell and next time I upload you'll see what I'm being up to next. And just thanks for hanging in with me guys. This is, I know that I'm still a little bit nervous in front of the camera. I know that I'm not as smooth and not as, uh, I don't know. I'm just not as smooth as so many of the people that you see on, on uh, YouTube. So thanks for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it can only get better, right? Yeah. In the meantime, bye for now.